Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency and Wally Hatchet's Comfort Food and Drinks at 6439 Summer Avenue. Good Saturday morning, everybody, once again. And welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, the fastest 90 minutes of outdoor broadcasting. And we're 75 minutes into the 90 minutes, which means this is the last segment. All things you'll want to know about Outdoors with Larry Ray, you will find out about it on the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray show. Yes. So, yes. again, Here. without further ado, ado, the one and only, only the Oracle, Oracle of the, of the outdoors, outdoors, Larry Ray. Ray. I love that. I love that, Frank. We were a duet right then. You know what? You know, the, the only problem is you said this was the final segment. That gets me scared. You know, I mean, the final segment on today's show. I thought about uh, that right yeah. after. Did I you said say that? It. I, okay, it didn't I wanted really to make sure the that way I meant it to. I, I thought maybe you knew something that I didn't know. You know, okay, <laughs> that's okay. Frank Barton sitting in as he does every third Saturday. Just close out today's show. It's really been a fun show. I've, you know, I, I get down in the dumps a lot with what's going on. Then I get cheered up when I come into a room and I see Hoot, Hoot Hazelgrove over there, and I see J.R. Sweat, and I see. Anthony Landrup, and then I see Frank, and I see Shelby, and then I get to talk to the only cornbread I know, you know. So that's a that's a good way to end today's show is talking with Johnny Cornbread, Warren up at Real Foot. Good morning, Johnny Cornbread. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. How y'all doing? We're doing great, man. I know uh, that you've migrated up there and you're building a house at Real Foot and everything, but uh, I know that you told me the Lake County Lions Club has something going on up there today. What's going on? Yeah, the Lake County Lions Club every year has a, a brim bash, brim tournament, uh, and uh, this uh, all the money, the proceeds goes to uh, mostly uh, underprivileged children. We help them buy glasses. We do yes. all of their eye testing for them each year. It's it's free for them. Uh, also, a lot of uh, orphans, this type of thing. We do the best we can to try to keep them and, and keep them in uh, glasses. Have their have all their their medical stuff done. It didn't cost them anything, That's and great. we have yeah. that tournament this coming Saturday. Yeah, today. I'm sorry. Today. Yeah, yeah, yeah today. You, you've been up since four o'clock, Johnny. Come yeah, on, That's, yeah. I'm, I'm the last off was at five, and so yep, they're fishing. They're fishing yep. right now on this yep. Saturday, and I know yep. the front's coming in and all that yep. good side of stuff. And and Sunday's going to be seventy four degrees and. All that stuff, but uh, yeah. you, you you got boats up there, and you're fishing for the kids, really. I mean, you're fishing yeah. really for uh, yeah. uh, for what you guys do. So now, so explain the weigh-ins. You know, start about eleven. What I mean, you start weighing in. Yeah. Well, how would you, how do yeah, I work it's there? A, we, it's kind of an open type thing, and it's a lot of honor system fishing. Okay. It's uh, the weigh-in will start at the eleven o'clock, and it's at Keystone Park. Keystone which Park. Is about yeah, uh, about three quarters of a mile outside uh, east of Tiptonville on Twenty Two yeah. State Park out there, and and uh, they'll have food and that type of thing. And people will come in, weigh their fish. You can have two, three people, four people in a boat as long as everything's legal. Okay, and they'll weigh in their top ten, fifteen fish. I think uh, there's two different categories, and 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 people, it's it's they really have a fun fun of it's, it's a, a fun, fun event. event, yeah. And it's a family thing. It's not yes. anything that. Uh, it's not a lot of pressure, that type of thing. Everybody has a great, great time. And uh, it's an annual event. Uh, next Each year we seem to be picking up more That's and good. more people. Yeah. And it's all for a good it's all for a good, good, good time. Well, I, you know, uh, I've told folks a lot of this. My dad uh, was the state governor for the Lions Club in Arkansas. And uh, Lions Club has always been uh, – a part of my life growing up. I know when I spoke to the Qantas Club once, my dad didn't speak to me for a month. You know, <laughs> I mean, so, uh, I mean, I was a Lions Club person. So it's up at Real Foot today, folks. So you want to travel up there, watch the way in. John, Johnny said there'd be a lot of food and stuff like that. But, uh, all right, I got to ask you before I let you go. All right. Okay. I, got, I got duck hunters on the line. They're, they're, they're listening this morning. Okay. Nobody. Johnny is he's not a guy that really gives his opinion very often but we'll ask him here you know I mean uh, the guy just doesn't like to give his opinion give me your opinion okay it was a bad season last year right okay it was a bad season in <laughs> December yes in December All yeah, right. January was it, it started out slow 
about the fifth or sixth of January and started picking up. Yeah. Um, I, I would say for us that uh, that are out there pretty much every day, you had to put in the time. You did. In order to kill your birds. You've been and, you've been doing it a while, right? I mean, how long? Yeah, I've, I'm 65 years old, and you've been. And I've been I've been guiding since I was 15. I started guiding 15, <laughs> yeah. 16 years old out of Grace Camp on the north end of the lake. He knows and the lake. I, he knows the lake. And continued continued to do that for a long, long time. But I will say the last eight to ten days of the season uh, was fantastic for us. We limited almost every day for the last eight days for sure. Well, and we started picking up a few Canadians at the last park, which we have been really scarce, really scarce on killing Canadian geese, yes. other than maybe a few golf course geese for the last probably the 10 years. Geese. Yeah, okay, I like to get, kill all those you yep. want, okay. All right. Yep, and, and I will say this, the geese that we killed yep. were going back, and they were actually going back early this year, and I think it was because of the weather. I talk, uh, as you know, I got some up in Alberta yes. as well, and yeah. I've talked to those guys up there. They said a lot of their birds came back in really early this year, and I've talked to a couple guys up there. They said they've had a real, real good hatch. All right. That they've got plenty of water uh, right now. They had. I talked to them last week and said they had plenty um, up here right now. Real foot just the past week. We've got to get in the fields and. Yeah, all of the, they're planting. As a matter of fact, I've been here today. I got all six of our duck holes planted. Oh, there you and, go. Uh, yeah, and so you're, we're 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 working on it. You're working, Johnny. Thank you, man. Have a great day. Thanks for talking to us. All right, man. All right, and if uh, you need anything, just give me a holler. All right, Johnny Cornbread Warren. Okay, I wanted to throw in a little duck. Hunt. I, you know, the guy's goes to Alberta every year. Amen. He's he's been duck hunting forever. His, honk, his guide service is honky tonk guide service, but don't think that, that that's just the name he uses. You know, he's he's not a honky tonker. I don't ever have understood that. But this man right here, Frank Barton, he's the most optimistic duck hunter that I know. Right now, he said the last eight days. That means fifty two days are. Now he said <laughs> there's sixty days here. You know, eight days were fabulous. <laughs> Nothing. There's n- nobody in the world more optimistic than, than a, duck. a duck hunter has to be has to be right because there's no reason for you to go back yes well i mean you guys had a fairly decent year uh we did not no i <laughs> no we did not have a fairly decent year <laughs> i'm waiting for him to say it but we're going to have a great year next year okay it's, well, our, I, it's our year isn't it yeah well i'm i'm i'm, I'm with him you know y'all uh, take bow I, hunters uh <laughs> Okay, let's explain this bow hunter thing before we get out of here. Now, he's brought it up again. Hoots brought it up again. He has nothing against you bow hunters out there, okay? <laughs> All you thousands of bow hunters. He's just saying that sometimes it's difficult to be a guide and take a bow hunter along, okay? I have the utmost respect for bow hunters. Is that is that qualifying, JR? Are you okay with him saying that now? I mean, I don't uh, want to. I don't want to lose any of y'all's viewers on the podcast. There's a butt in there. Oh, there's just, a butt. I, I just know that. When that air comes off that crossbow, it's awful silent, and I'm riding with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys being with us this morning on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and uh, uh, really driving in from Bolivar, driving in from Toon, driving in from Adamsville. You two guys together uh, got a lot of respect for all the three of you guys and what you do for the outdoors, uh, whether it's the podcast, whether it's catfishing. Uh, where this man right here that has uh, spent so many years uh, serving our country, uh, so many years guiding so many people. Now, he said, you know, the number early in the show, that's not how many he's killed, but I guarantee you a lot of people have probably killed their first turkey with you, including a young lady named Emma. Emma. Let's, let's close this out. We'll tell them us that real quick. I can tell you as fast as I can. In 1987, I was so honored. I killed. I killed. I called in my daddy's first turkey in South Carolina. I was still at active duty in the Marine Corps. Okay. Anthony filmed me last year, the the video he's talking about. Yeah. I used daddy's 870. Did you really? And killed that turkey. And we couldn't do the recovery because of me yes <laughs> but for emma she's killed her first deer first squirrel first dove first duck caught her biggest catfish lost her biggest catfish <laughs> and this year she got her first turkey 
and I did the same thing. I had to put the phone. I was doing a recovery. I watched these guys and how they do it. Yes. I was doing a recovery, and when I <laughs> I rolled it over and seen it spurs, I, I couldn't do it. I, I, I called him and asked him. I said, who? How big is this spurs? <laughs> he didn't cut it off. He I said, I had to. I posted I it. it but that. Set of hooks. If you, yeah. under, if you understand, you you talked about being humble. I've heard that word a couple of times in here. Yes. Guess what? Yeah. I'm the most humble guide you'll ever have. I know you are. But yeah. don't try to guide me. Don't try to guide you. Correct. Tell me. Yes. He'll let me guide you. He'll let yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. That's let a good luck you. charm right there. Well, well, tell us who Emma is. Until okay. you em- I no. won't say her middle name because no. she'll pinch me. No. Emma MacArthur. She's, I'm her outdoor mentor. Yes. She She's... In an advanced honor class in school in Middleton. Yes. And yeah. uh, tomorrow's her last day yes. for the summer. Yeah. Starting tomorrow afternoon when I pick her up, we start dotting I's and crossing T's for the upcoming catfishing tournament on the Hatchie River there on the 3rd go. and 4th of June. Okay, Emma, we're saluting you this Saturday morning. Emma McCarthy? MacArthur. MacArthur. As in General MacArthur. As is. and My favorite... World As War the II dog hero. trainer would know, I had Diesel in my back pocket from when he was this big <laughs> until he met Emma, and now he obeys everything she says. All right. Well, guys, thank you all for coming, being on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, next week, uh, we're going to talk boating safety, Betsy Woods of the TWRA, and the man himself, Don King, who uh, sings our theme song, is going to be in town, and we're going to get him with his guitar, our wonderful trumpeter, here we'll bring her trumpet next weekend and we'll talk uh, we'll do some music on outdoors with Larry Ray. Thank you guys for being with us. Thank you, Frank Barton, for being with us. And as we do on every show, Frank knows that it doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport. And what else, Frank? God, God bless, bless the USA. USA.